crumble cookie pop up in Bondi and I got 10. If you're not up to date with what is currently happening, the Crumble Cookie Australia pop-up that just happened in Sydney on the weekend is allegedly a complete fraud and has nothing to do with Crumble Cookies from the US. I'm scared that people can get away with this so easily with an A3 poster and a TikTok account. Like, it's concerning. Hey guys, it's Briar of Briar Chats and this is a safe space for yappers. Now, if the statement, the Sydney Crumble Cookie scandal means nothing to you, Congratulations, you've probably touched grass this week. Because last weekend, scandal was afoot in Sydney. Yes, it's true. There was a crumble, crumble cookie pop-up in Bondi, which is a suburb in Sydney. However, it's turned out to be a little bit of an alleged, in my opinion and most people's opinion, scam. All was not as it seems. Because what was advertised as a crumble cookie pop-up in Sydney was actually, just in my opinion, a scam. Because this pop-up was not officially brought to Australia Mate by Crumble Cookie, but instead fans of Crumble Cookie. So if you want to hear all about the bizarre, crazy, strange, unusual scandal that happened last weekend in Sydney where people spent $17.50, $17.50 on a single crumble cookie that turned out to not be actually brought to you by crumble and all of the fallout that has since happened since this crazy pop-up? Yeah, stick around because we're going to get into it. Now, if you have never heard of Crumble Cookie before, they are what I would almost consider to be like an influencer cookie brand. They have really locked in. They are locked in on their influencer TikTok market. And because of this, they are a hugely coveted cookie brand. They are a cookie company from America and according to their website, their first crumble store was opened in Utah. But now it seems like they are pretty widespread across America and I believe have just launched in Canada. And I feel like their virality comes in for a lot of reasons. They've been very successful in collabing with influencers. They've gotten a lot of hype around them and they've made reviewing crumble cookies on TikTok a very hot and trendy thing to do. Like, yes, you will get the likes, clicks and engagement if you review crumble cookies on TikTok. Yes, it's true. They have really caught on to that and used it to propel that success. That amongst their aesthetics, the way the cookies look, constantly having new flavors to try. They're very on trend. They make new flavors. They keep it hot. They keep it fresh. And so for us girly pops in the Southern Hemisphere, if we were to hear that a crumble cookie pop-up is going to come up in Sydney, yeah, that's gonna cause a buzz. That is going to cause some excitement. And so when an account was created on TikTok and Instagram called Crumble Sydney, yeah, a buzz was a brewing. People were excited and hundreds, if not thousands of people went to this pop-up in Sydney. So I thought, why not start there? Why not start from the beginning and watch some people's reviews of the crumble cookies from the crumble cookie pop-up? Trying the viral crumble pop-up in Sydney, Australia. The viral crumble cookie. <laughs> We don't know the flavors. We don't know the mix box. Why this is off? Can you tell them that your mum is a doctor? Um. Anyway, seventy-five dollars for five cookies. That's. You know, it's not a bad cookie to be honest. It's just like I would have made five dollars. Have this shit, Charlie. That is disgusting. Come on, what is it? You forgot to say the flavor. Look at peanut butter. Me, you hungry? Hippo. Okay. That was, um, you know, that's not like. It tastes like. This is presentation, by the way. They're full last. <laughs> that's really nice. They actually like. This yeah. is good. That's nice. It's just a chocolate chip. Mm. That one's dry. <laughs> that one's dry. They're edible. They're edible. They're good. Mm. They're young, but. They're the way, the price, the hype, they're Look, so much better. They're very expensive, like $17 for a cookie. However, it is a one off. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite one. How cool. Anyways, if you can get down there, try it. It's in Bondi. It was fun. We'll be up in more reviews. Yeah, it's our, it's our Sunday. It's our Sunday ritual to just go trying food. Yes, you did hear them correctly. They spent 75 
Australian G'day Mates on those cookies. And when you are reviewing a cookie on that premise, like believing that this company brought these cookies and were charging 17 shrimps on the Barbie 50 for a cookie each, like that is an insane lens to be reviewing a cookie through. However, like I said, it's a very trendy thing to do. So that is also going to drive people to talk about it, to film it, and to react to how they feel about the cookies, which I feel like was the hype builder, but also helps in the downfall of this whole scandal scam, hellabaloo. So let's watch another review. Guys, we went to the Crabble Cookie pop-up in Bondi, and I got 10. Sorry, I have to pause. She got 10, so that means she spent 175 boomerangs on those cookies. Okay, we're doing a crumble cookie taste test. So the first one, the first one is pink sugar icing. I have to say, it looks quite homemade. It, it, it looks, I wonder where they made them. Okay, they just come sit. Oh, see. Okay, ready? Okay. The lip look. That's yummy. Yes, it kind of looks yeah, like it's from a bake sale. I could have done that. Honestly, it's really good. Greta is shy when we hungover. We've got milk too. You're a cookie, you're pissing on those. What do you think? You don't like it? No. You don't like it. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. I'd like to don't okay. mind milk, but. No, no, you just gotta get it full. I don't like it. Not my favorite. You're allowed either. to like it. You're allowed to like it. I'm trying to show you don't like it because Greta doesn't like it. Yeah. I spent $150 on 10 cookies. <laughs> Let's just be the regular one. Um, that looks good. Oh, wow, look at that. Large chunk of chocolate chip. Oh my god. It's delicious. Thank you. It's delicious. It's still a little warm. Mm. It's risky. <laughs> I'm underwhelmed. I'm really underwhelmed. Well, the place in my place that's doing his cookies, I'm like a bit of like a bit of a little 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 bit of a I have no idea. Oh, I'm not, I'm not it looks quite yummy. Honestly, it looks like it's got sauce on it, a bit of something else. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> the price point is a scan. Mm. That's true. I'd rather go to an In N Out pop up. This is the knife that Lucas is using to, to cut his cookies. I got your cheeks for the first time yesterday, and they were sold out of plain yogurt. Oh, why would you get plain yogurt? Okay, I'm so good. This has to be some kind of like chocolate yogurt. Well, that's okay. There's definitely not yogurt. the best cookies is the hood in Paddington. That's a new one. That's the peanut butter. I can smell it. Smell it. Okay, so that's my favorite. Stuff. That's gonna be my favorite. You're not even in it. Oh, no, that's my favorite. Stuff. <laughs> Some kind of peanut butter. Really I honestly nice. can't even open it up. That's my favorite color. Wow. That's I'm sorry. Black. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I waited an hour. Daddy! Not a lot. The rest of them? Terrible. <laughs> Anyways, that was fun. Bye. I feel like a lot of the reviews are along that lines where people are kind of in shock and disbelief that they waited an hour plus in line and spent 17 wallabies 50 per cookie. Like, I think people truly, when that you're watching their reviews, it's sinking in how much time and money that they wasted on those cookies. And that's when they thought that it was endorsed by Crumble. However, before we get into the fallout, I do want to show you the videos I was able to save before they were removed from the TikTok account itself, because I feel like there is a lot of discourse around how they were selling themselves. So I feel like why not watch the videos that I was able to obtain before, as you'll find out shortly, they've been disappeared from the internet. So let's watch the crumble of TikTok posts. <laughs> why their account was disabled it's interesting that they've covered up the why this has happened but don't worry guys the pop-up's still happening Now, 
Now, when you're watching that video, is that telling you some fans have brought her back from the United States of America? Or is it that video kind of giving the impression that, hmm, I don't know, they were making them in Australia, mate, for this Australia, mate pop up? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. And here is another one that they posted post pop up. That line is truly insane in the membrane. And think, if even if each of those people were buying one cookie, that each one of those people is spending 17 crikey it's a crock on a cookie. Like that's truly insane. And obviously due to the commotion, due to the hullabaloo, due to the price tag, it's not about the money, money, money. Well, it was because it caused a lot of stir and it caused a lot of people to be like, wait a minute, is this really a crumble official pop-up? Because why on earth in the year that is 2024 would a cookie cost 17 dingoes 50? And the reason is simple, really, and it's because it wasn't actually crumble that brought the cookies to Australia, it was fans. So I have here a picture slide that I also got before they took it down. So here is what I was able to grab. They changed their bio to say, not endorsed by Crumble, just fans importing. And this is their response. Hi everyone, we want to address the drama surrounding the event. Are these genuine Crumble cookies? Yes, 100%. We traveled to the US to purchase the cookies and imported them with that original packaging. We did not bake them ourselves. See below crumble recipe matching bank transfers. So they've spent around 4,000 US dollars to purchase, it doesn't say how many cookies, however many cookies that is, to import back into Australia, mate. Are you officially Crumble? No, we never claim to be an official Crumble store. This was clearly stated, Whoop! that was my nose growing because that's a big fat lie, in my opinion, in our bio and comments. Our goal was to bring the authentic Crumble cookies to Australia by importing the cookies directly from the US of A. We hope this clears up any confusion. Thank you to those who supported us and gave us valuable feedback. Please note we are not affiliated with the ABN Crumble Cookie Sydney that have registered the business name, are not involved in this business whatsoever. Additionally, the trophy shop at 331 Old South Head Road is unrelated. They are not involved in the business and reaching out to either of them or sharing the information will not be beneficial. To contact us, please message us at our only page, TikTok Crumble Sydney. Okay. And then they also attached a biosecurity control picture. It's kind of cut though, but I think it's just them showing that they, you know, told the Australian government about importing the goods. Profit and cost. The event was never about profit. We aimed to bring the cookies to Crumble Fan. We did not aim to make money. And some rough, rough costs are below. 4K on flights and luggage. 6K on the cookie and packaging. 2K in duties. K is a thousand. So we're up to $12,000. Over a thousand dollars in staffing. Surely not. Additional cost for microwaves, tables, venue, and marketing. With all this expenses, we set the price without any intention of making a large profit. Reselling them. Importing and reselling is called parallel imports. Parallel imports are legal. And more information can be found at 
a website. Trademark concern. Crumble trademarks are available at blah 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 dot com. No, dot gov dot au. We did not use their trademarks in our videos on TikTok. Quality. Crumble cookie should be kept at room temperature in airtight containers for up to three days or refrigerated for up to seven days. We kept them to these requirements. Some were warm to enhance their texture, which is what Crumble does as well. While most customers enjoy the cookies, a couple of influencers felt they didn't meet expectations. We apologize that they did not live up to expectations. However, they are just cookies at the end of the day. While there may be a small difference in quality, some flavors may not appeal to some people. A lot of them have reached out to us who are saying they were delicious and thank you for selling them see below and they've got two screenshots overwhelming response below oh here's the other side of that custom and compliance picture blah 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 government so yes that is their official response and here's the thing and no it's not here's the thing we started out friends here's the thing if they had truly marketed themselves as a fan of crumble cookie and that that this is what they were doing they were a parallel import like if it was crumble cookie parallel import parallel you know a parallel import crumble cookie i don't think people would have minded i think people would have had a better expectation and i think the hullabaloo would not be here i would not be sitting here yappy yappy yapping about it if that was the case However, it's not. So let's get into some people's reactions once finding out that this was not the official crumble pop-up. This was not an official crumble pop-up and it was deceitfully trying to appear as such. This video is for these idiots and these idiots only. If you're not up to date with what is currently happening, the Crumble Cookie Australia pop-up that just happened in Sydney on the weekend is allegedly a complete fraud and has nothing to do with Crumble Cookies from the US and some random fucks have just done it in Australia using their brand name, their image, their packaging and apparently their products as well. Apparently, allegedly, they flew over to America, bought heaps of the cookies and flew them back to Australia to sell them. First of all, if that's the case, how were they not stale by the time that you sold them? Secondly, why would you do something so fucking stupid? Like, whoever these people are that have done this, like, if I was you, I would genuinely be booking the next flight out of the country and, like, pissing off into the oblivion because I can't even begin to explain the trouble you are about to get yourself in. I don't know if they've actually flown product in from overseas because that's wild, but even if they have been stupid enough to make cookies themselves and make them look like crumbled and use their brand image and name... Oh my God, like who the fuck are these idiots? No offense. Like how could you be so thick and stupid to not think of the consequences of doing this? Like run the fuck away. <laughs> like I would be fucking out of the country, but actually don't because I'm looking forward to like seeing who these people are. How could you be so fucking stupid? Oh fuck yeah, we're going to use crumble cookie and make so much money. Are you dumb? You are about to be in so much shit. Like I don't know the legalities of this. I'm a business owner in Australia. I don't know if they could be going to jail or be fined hundreds of thousands of dollars or potentially even millions. All I know is you are up fucking shit creek and I I just am lost for words. I've never seen such stupidity in my life and RIP to you. Now, here's the thing to me about this. If it was honest, if the way that they advertised it and it was all done well above board and it was never put out to look like it was actually crumble cookie I don't think it's a bad idea I think that they saw a need in the market they saw that there would be a lot of success they weren't wrong people literally paid 17 koalas 50 for a cookie each so they were not wrong that there is a hype and demand for these cookies however it is the way they went about it and now the potential legal trouble that they could be in for framing themselves as a crumble cookie pop-up and not a parallel imported crumble cookie pop-up so let's watch another video all right guys i have some updates on the sydney crumble cookie drama that's going on there were a lot of comments even some news articles saying that you know people should have known better they clearly said that they weren't affiliated with crumble at all so that's kind of on you for assuming that but this actually wasn't the case this screenshot from my original video and i'll pop it here again this is from sunday night so this is like the actual day of the pop-up and there's no not affiliated with crumble in it at all from what i can tell that was actually added in later speaking of this tiktok account from what i can see it looks like they've taken all the content off which is kind of interesting because they were really doubling down in my comments and in other people's videos 
videos in the comments saying that they hadn't done anything wrong and everything was fine. Something that was on there that I did see was this statement. They actually still have it linked in this Google Doc here. You can go and check it out if you want. I will share some of the screenshots from this. It basically just says that what they've done is all above board. They had the correct permits for importing and they haven't infringed on any trademarks. I will say the screenshot of like the customs declaration, I guess, I found that quite interesting because there wasn't really a lot of information on that apart from the cookies. Like there's no date, there's no uh, stamp or anything of like approval. So just going off like that screenshot alone, it's really hard to tell whether or not this whole import situation is legit or not. But the real tea is that there's this other food creator here on TikTok. I'll put her out in the comments so you guys can go and watch uh, because it's not my story to tell, it's really hers. But basically she said that she's actually met this guy, the guy who started this pop-up. I'm not sure for certain, I'm just going off what she said, but if that's the case, we might actually be able to put a name and face to this whole crumble cookie saga. I don't know guys, what do you think? I am inclined to believe that if they are bringing in hundreds of cookies through customs, like customs isn't thinking that they're bringing it back for family and friends. Like surely customs would have seen that quantity of cookies and known it was for resale. So I'm inclined to believe that if they were able to get them through customs at that quantity, they did the right thing, but I don't know. But I do think it is kind of strange that they obviously looked into it enough to see if it, this is something they could do but then for some reason they just still decided to make it appear like they were actually crumble like I don't know why if they looked into it and everything that they did was above board and correct like why not just say your fans parallel importing and everything is done like this is the info this is how we've kept everything fresh why would you not just say that why would you initially act as though you are crumble whoever's running this crumble sydney nonsense you terrify me how are you going to have the legitimate crumble cookie account say, we're not in Australia, and you reply with, yes, as for now, coming late 2025. They literally posted this on another account they have as well, which for reference is this one, because they also have this account and this account and this account. And the Melbourne and Brisbane ones have the audacity to tag the actual crumble cookie account in the bio. I'm just saying, sorry, but the first red flag should be when you see Shepparton and Taralgon and you're like, hmm, yes, crumble cookies would definitely come there. If crumble cookies did a legitimate pop-up, it would probably be Bondi and it'd be Melbourne CBD and that would be it. No hate on regional towns. I grew up in one. I'm just saying, let's like use our brain cells. Like again, crumble cookies would not be doing every bloody location in Australia. But on an insane note, is all of these comments saying, no, the cookies have to be consumed the same day. Like this comment. And if you're like, wait, what? So they've just made a post admitting that they have, well, to be fair, they actually did say this six days ago that they were just picking up the cookies and that they're not like affiliated with Crumble, they're just fans. But they only said that on their Crumble Sydney account. They did not say that on any other of the accounts that have almost a million views on the videos. I just genuinely think whoever's running this, um, I'm concerned for your well-being because how are you going to spend 10k to go to America just to import cookies? And I know, like, I've seen the comments saying, like, what if they just bake them themselves? They have the actual biosecurity thing. And if they, they like... One, who would go to the effort of making this up? But also two, if you forged this document and posted it online, um, that's illegal. I'm like very sure that's illegal. So I would I would say that this is legit, which again, is just insane. But also I did some maths. Based off their spending, they would have imported about 700 cookies. I saw somewhere else say like a thousand. How the hell are you importing 700 cookies from the US to Australia? And how are you ensuring that all of these cookies are still like edible? Because when I say a comment like this, and I've also just seen a TikTok from someone saying, hey, did anyone who actually ate them feel really sick now? And there was a comment saying like, yeah, my whole family feels sick. Like, are these cookies on their seventh day when you were selling them? All I have to say is ill. Also, um, if you were to convert the price of a crumble cookie to Australian dollars, it would be $7.23 as of the 1st of October. One cookie at this pop-up was $17.50, which, look, sure, it covers all your flights and whatever. No one asked you to spend 4K on flights and import 700 crumble cookies. No one asked you to do that. And I, like, I get this whole, like, oh, but we're not making a profit off it because, like, we spent this much on flights and whatever, so it, like, evens out. You could have easily just been going on a holiday to America and then just also decided to take these crumble cookies. I'm just saying, let's look at it this way. Check the AUD cost off the 17 50 that they were selling the cookies for. Times that profit by 700 cookies. That entire holiday to Hawaii and all the customs for the cookies and blah, blah, blah was just paid by selling those cookies. You gave them a free holiday. Also, I am aware that brands nowadays reply like Gen Z and whatever, but why were we buying cookies from a page that replies with, it's not on God? No, it has to be consumed the same day. Probably because they're fucking over seven days old and when people start getting sick, you're going to have another lawsuit on your hands. And you said you have an ABN at the end of your thing. So good luck. Good luck, Charlie. Were they just going on holiday and they saw a way to make the money back for the holiday or they were like, hmm, quick math, we can make free holidays to Hawaii if we import a bunch of cookies. It's very strange. If Crumble was actually coming, 
they wouldn't be in some weird corner store. Like even that store in Bondi, like not gonna lie guys, yes, that's true, I have been to Bondi. I can't imagine that that is a spot that they would pick. There are so many cooler spots and I feel like if Crumble is gonna actually make the effort to go all that way, like they're not just gonna be like in some weird window with like an A3 poster. It really didn't match up, but to me the scary thing is is that Okay, this is the best case scenario that they were selling old cookies, but imagine if they had made them. Imagine if they were pretending and impersonating and all of these people just bought them. Like it's kind of like, it's. I'm scared that people can get away with this so easily with an A3 poster and a TikTok account. Like it's concerning. Anyway, let's turn to one of my faves, Christian, for another update. It's happened, they've deleted all their socials. They've just wiped their TikTok clean. This crumble fucking cookie drama is getting epic and I've also discovered something. So the shop where the pop-up was held is actually a confectionery shop that like distributes lollies. And I think they only do online orders. Now, how do I know that these are the same people that went to Hawaii to get 700 cookies and bring them back? Because the packaging of the confectionery shop is the exact same pink boxes that they were giving the crumble cookies in. Now, I went to the crumble cookie Sydney fake TikTok account because I wanted to get a screenshot of something. It was something that I noticed while I was going through them all is that... They had hired staff to help them sell the cookies. And those staff were front and center, they were out the front. The people in the shop had like this weird window covering their faces. So you couldn't see who was serving you, right? They were hiding their faces. And it was in two TikToks and I really wish I'd, oh, actually I think I have saved them. See, it's like some sort of little window blind is like really annoyingly down. So you have to like bend down and their, their faces are covered. Oh, this leads me to believe they are fully fucking aware of the sh illegal shit that they're doing. Like I don't believe that they're like fans because especially if you already have a business selling confectionery, you know the rules around this like if your business is to sell food products you know what you oh. also the owner of crumble has made a little he made a comment it says um this is the owner it appears we need to expedite our visit to australia please note this pop-up is in no way affiliated with crumble cookies that's all he has said i'm like dude you i mean i've been waiting for this but come on and then their page so see this they, 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 this is a tiktok that they've liked they don't they've wiped themselves clean I'm fucking living for this. I am living for this. I feel like he is always so on the pulse. Like he has the screenshots. I was so glad. Like I, my spidey senses were tingling that I needed to download and not just favorite the crumble cookie post because I just knew that they were going to remove them. And so, yes, he had the screenshot of the owner of crumble cookie confirming it wasn't affiliated or endorsed with them it is interesting to me that they i guess what can crumble do because they've already done that like it's already happened what are you supposed to do about it but it is just really strange to me that i don't know i feel like you would have thought that crumble would have made a bigger statement but i guess people don't still believe that it's affiliated with them so i kind of get not wanting to draw attention to the whole situation but maybe i don't know maybe he will post and i just haven't seen it yet it's not that people still believe this is affiliated with crumble but now they're at the point where they're like how is this allowed to happen and now people are finding out that they've spent 17 dollars 50 on a week old cookie and that's why it was stale that why it wasn't very good that's why they look so messed up that's why they look melted so it's like were they really able to keep them quality controlled on a flight back from hawaii through customs through all of that stuff i mean how much control can you have over it but it just adds a whole other calculated layer when you see the blind covering those people behind the shop window and i even remember thinking when i was watching the video that they posted that they had sold out was like it looked impractical because you could see the people kind of talking under it it's not like it was because it was hiding the sun i don't think because it was obviously just causing an inability to talk to people easily so it does seem a little nefarious now before i reveal to you a major break i did want to play one more video about what the legality is behind this whole crumble cookie gate. If you're following this crumble gate cookie scandal, then the big question you probably have is, can crumble sue? Because it's a pretty relevant question. Can somebody simply go and buy my product from another country, bring it to Australia and sell it at a markup while pretending to be me? And then when they get called out, say, hey, we never said we were the business, we just said we're enthusiasts. Let's begin with the more concerning side of things, which is the regulatory side. Selling of food products in Australia has to meet certain standards and those standards require food to be kept in certain ways. Now, is it arguable that the food was kept in accordance with those safety standards? Yes, but was it kept in accordance with what I, if I was Crumble's um, head management would want? No. Was it sold using the appropriate mechanism 
mechanisms and modalities? No. And that's a big issue because food safety is important. Secondly, a lot of people have said, they never said they were crumbed. They just, uh, they said that they're fans. Firstly, I don't know if that's exactly true. I think a lot of the branding would suggest to me as an impartial third party that they are crumbed, that they're um, related to the head brand, that they have a relationship with that brand. Nothing in this suggested to me that, hey, we're fans who are buying links and selling them at a markup and that's okay. And a lot of people said, but you asked for the cookies, you got the cookies, what's the difference? So when a business sells a product, the product is a ambassador of the business. It's their business's chance to say, this is what we do. And if people try this cookie and have a terrible experience with it because it's not the authentic cookie or it's stored in quite frankly, disgusting conditions over a week before it's sold to you and you have a bad experience, you would be entitled to say as the head brand, this has damaged my brand. All it takes is to look at some of the influencers being like, this cookie is overpriced and gross to realize that it's probably done brand damage. Now, I don't know what one of these things is meant to taste like when it's fresh. I don't know if it's the greatest thing like um, eating manna from heaven or whether it's gross. I'm not uh, equipped to make that decision. But what I can definitely tell you is that the cookie that these people paid a fortune for is in no way, shape or form the same caliber quality of cookie that you would have gotten if you got it fresh out of the oven from a store. That I can assure you of. And I can assure you that the experience these people had is suboptimal and subpar. And so I think on a number of grounds, there's a perfectly good lawsuit waiting for these people who have tried to say, I'm just a cookie fan and trying to sell it. No, you sold their product for profit. You sold it in incredibly legally murky circumstances. And I think your conduct was deceptive and dis dishonest and quite frankly, disgusting. And whether you agree or not that people should be ripped off because they paid too much for a cookie, this was theft. It was disgusting and it was disgraceful. And I hope you get what's coming to you. As a girly pop, we do sometimes need um, a legal opinion to just let us know. So I think hearing that, obviously not being from Australia, mate, it's interesting to know that there is a legal grounds here. And I think it is because of the storage, the presentation. Like to me, that shop pop-up did not look up to what I would imagine the huge aesthetics of Crumble would expect. But also, I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like the cookies are like airtight sealed. They're just in a paper box. So there to me is no way that those cookies are remaining fresh if they're just sitting in that box. And if you're bringing in 700 cookies, there's no way you're putting all of those in a Ziploc bag. Like it's just like, it, there's just like a logistical no way that they could have kept the cookies fresh for that long. And so I'm really just not surprised that they do have a legal leg to stand on. It's just going to be whether or not Crumble wants to engage in that will be kind of the interesting thing to watch because it seems according to the Daily Mail AU that they have figured out who is behind this crumble cookie pop-up. A baby-faced schoolboy from Sydney's eastern suburbs can be unmasked as the mastermind behind the crumble cookie pop-up which sparked outrage this week. Westbourne College Year 12 student Toby Joshua, age 18, and older brother Noah, age 21, are the entrepreneurs who sparked hour-long queues for fans of the cult US sweet treat. On Sunday, hundreds lined up at the makeshift store in North Bondi for cookies priced at $17.50 each. Customers became outraged upon discovering that the cookies were allegedly imported in bulk from Hawaii and not freshly baked. The young duo of would-be businessmen later wiped their social media page and defended their actions, stating they had not broken any laws. On Wednesday, Daily Mail Australia tracked down Toby, the registered owner of the sugar party company behind the venture, to his family home in the city's east. But the brother's mother, Lauren Joshua, refused to take questions about the backlash at their $4 million Bellevue Hill mansion and slammed the door shut on reporters. The pair had earlier taken to social media on Tuesday to address the drama surrounding the event and stated they had sold genuine crumble cookies. The pair said the event was never about profit and claimed they had spent $4,000 on flats and luggage, $6,000 on cookies and packaging, $2,000 in duties, taxes and customs broking, and more than $1,000 on staffing. They are understood to have sold 700 of the imported cookies at $17.50 a time for a total possible revenue of $12,250. Did you guys see that coming? Because I didn't. I can't believe it, but it also makes a lot of sense. I don't know their actual socioeconomic standing, but it does kind of make sense that this was done by like rich teenagers. Because this whole shtick gives the logic of someone who hasn't fully formed their prefrontal cortex like because probably to them they think that what they've done isn't illegal because on their level they looked into it and it looked fine and so it's crazy to me that their parents allowed this like obviously they went on a family holiday so unless like i would be super shocked if the if their parents expected them to pay for their flights and accommodation on their family holiday when they are teenagers and one of them is still in school. Sorry, to me, a 21 year old boy is a teenager. Like, have you met 21 year old boys? That's not, that's not an adult. I can't hold that person to a fully formed prefrontal cortex adult standard. Sure, it's not a child. Sure, they're both 18 plus, 
But to me, it's just, it's it's like, this is a baffling turn of events that the parents allowed them. Like, surely the parents funded this and was like, uh, you just can keep whatever you make. And they probably just had to pay the parents back for the cookie and like the importing, I would assume. It's giving like young enterprise to me. I don't know if you guys had this at your school, but like the kids in our school, if they did economics, they would have to think up like a big brain idea product and like sell it like this is what it's <laughs> this is what it's giving they're like we've come up with a young enterprise it's giving like bake sale logic it's giving I made homemade lemonade logic it's giving the logic where you don't actually live within the realms of food safety standards of adult standards of a company standards like it's just baffling to me and I think it makes it different because I'm not sure that the official crumble people would want to prosecute or sue young kids or young adults for something like this. Honestly, to me, like, not that I'm a parent at all, but it seems like the parents have kind of enabled this behavior. So I'm not surprised that they don't think they've done anything wrong. Like, literally not a parent. Literally, I cannot tell you how to live your life or how to parent your children Obviously, I'm not qualified to say that, but it's also to me not surprising that they don't think they've done anything wrong if they were enabled by their parents on a family holiday to execute this plan. And so I think the changing the link in bio, changing everything is a backtracking because they realized they took it too far by pretending to be crumble. And I don't know if there is a legal and food safe way to be a parallel import of something like crumble. I don't know, just a girly pop, but it just, it's so strange. It's so bizarre. I will be watching to see how this story unfolds, to see how the rest of it crumbles because it's just been, it's just been a shocking like turn every every turn we take I'm more shooketh wow that escalated quickly like I didn't see it coming so I don't know if if anything crazy happens I guess I could make a part two video but that's why I kind of waited to make this video to see like how the story unfolded I guess the only other unfolding would be if legal action was taken against these guys I'm not sure if it will and I don't know if they should because it's like you want people to learn their lesson, but like, I don't know how to feel. It makes it so strange to me that that's who did it, <laughs> but it also makes perfect sense. This kind of logic only makes sense if it's coming from teenage boys. Do you know what I mean? And it's not derogatory. It's just like a fact. Like I was stupid when I was a teenager. I'm still stupid. So... You know, anyway, I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you keep up with this crazy, crazy cookie drama? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know in the comments down below. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed until the end, you are a real one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to keep up with me between my uploads, I'm on TikTok and Instagram and I will link my vlog channel down below. But... Don't you worry, guys, because I'm not funny there either. Bye.